welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy and today we're going to talk about a simple way to learn to spin on a walking wheel. Um, this is Big Bertha. She was born in and around the area of Pennsylvania, we believe. She came to Missouri um, with a family and then the owner of the wheel passed away and it ended up in an estate sale. So um, that is the history as we know it. Could be good, could be wrong. I just call her Big Bertha. I don't know. So she is an 1849 model as far as she was traced back into the documentation that we have. And I'm, this is what I'm going to try and teach you to spin on a walking wheel on today. Okay, the three main pieces up here that you're going to need to know. Well, there's actually four. These two posts that hold your spindle are the maiden. These down here, this whole mechanism is called the mother of all. Okay, so when it's all put together. And this is your tension. Not all will have this style of tension. You just have to know what is going to um, tension the drive beam. All right. So this will also vary. These are the little straps. And I, I don't get into technical terms. This is a simple video. You just need to know the maiden, the spindle, the mother of all tension. Um, and of course, this is a drive band. And back here is your wheel. So this in an older one will be um, corn husk. A leather strap it's just simply something put through that holds this um, spindle on and I happen to use two little pieces of leather and they're red just because that's what fit through the hole so I mean that's just what color they are the other thing that you're gonna notice is this spindle is actually for an accelerator um, but it is very common for these spindles to be lost in travel. They would have wool on them. Um, they could drop spindle off of them a lot of times if they had kids, whatever. They'd knit and crochet off of them. Um, so these getting lost is really not a big deal and doesn't um, take away from this. Uh, when I went on, I think I got this one off of eBay as a replacement because everything was here but the spindles. So um, it was just easier to go and buy a little replacement. This is what I found. Not exactly in period, but nobody knows that. I don't care. It spins for me, so it works. Spindle, maiden, mother of all, and tension. Okay, as you can imagine, there's only two pieces back here that you really need to worry about. That's your uh, wheel, which is this, of course, and your drive band. Your drive band can be made of just about anything. Um, there's plastic ones that are made. I don't know that they're made this big for, for a wheel like this. But this is just a piece of cotton, and let me back it up here, and I'll show you. This is a knot that's tied in, and you can see that this is starting to warp or whatever. If something happens to this, I will simply go and buy some good cotton um, thread, string. I don't know what you'd call it, but I just look for this, and that knot has been retied several times. But... Um, it's not anything fancy. Jute would probably work. I have one that is done on jute. I don't like it because when you're spinning fiber, if the jute flies those little uh, hairs off of it, it could actually get into your work. I've never had it happen, but I'm just kind of freaky that way. Okay, so there's two things that you're going to have to fuss with. It's not that you fuss with it. It's just your wheel is delicate to you, and once you set it up, these two things take forever to figure out. It's going to be the most frustrating thing you have to deal with and the most learning thing you have to deal with. The first thing is, and I'm going to move this over a little bit, get through here, is that spindle where it connects, goes over, and we're not worried about technical terms, what this is, I don't care. This is the spindle. The drive band goes into one of these grooves. One of those grooves, um, yours may have one if you have an accelerator, it's done different, but simply put, this wheel moves here. Let's see if I can do it. It tips this way and that way, see? So you have to line up this so that your drive band will stay consistently in line. And as you can see, it's not in line and you see what's happening. It, you have to figure out where this is going to stay and then line it up from there because that will consistently stay in one place. Whereas your wheel, if you brush up against it or move this like I did, this part will adjust. So once you get it adjusted and have it set up, it is not a wheel you want to turn around and move. Okay, so we have it pretty much 
so that I kind of know my wheel so I know how this is going to happen. Um, you'll learn to be able to look back here and see how everything goes. That's number one, okay? It's the biggest frustration. People say, I keep popping my drive band. I keep popping my drive band. Um, yep, you don't have it lined up right. And it does take a little bit to get that done and it's very finicky. So expect to be frustrated, walk away, come back. You'll get it right. And when you can sit here and spin this and it doesn't pop off, and I mean spin it. These are not meant to just sit idle, spin it. And as you can see, it's not popping off. That's where the knot hit. Okay, so the other thing that you have to worry about that might take you a little bit of fussing and learning is your tension. Mine is a screw tension. Okay, so it backs off and tightens down. Um, it's really cool to see, but I'm not going to pull it out and show you. Yes, it's antique made, but it's cool. Um, the tension on your drive band, once you get this lined up, um, it doesn't have to be tight. Um, taut, I guess would be a better word. Well, not even really taut, oh, except for popping it off. <laughs> I feel a little tighter than that. Um, it's not a tight thing because when you're spinning, there's going to be a little bit of pressure on this spindle right here. And so it's going to um, have to be tight. I, I don't know how to explain it. As you can see, it's not real tight. Um, and that is actually about right where you want it for spinning. It will depend on your drive band, your wheel, um, your tension control, so many things. But it just has to be able to make everything to make this spin. Um, that's it. And the problem that you'll run into is if this is too tight or too loose, the drive band will simply spin over this and not actually turn the, the spindle. So that's where you want to get it is just so that it'll do. That. Okay. So one of the things that I am going to start with is just say that your fiber, this is one of those times that the more aligned it is, the better it will do. Because if you know spinning at all, I'm going to use a term that you could be familiar with. Um, and if you're not spinning at all, don't worry about it. I'll show you. Um, basically, you're going to do a left-handed long draw, um, which is where this lays down on here. And when you spin this, it spins the spindle, which puts twist in this. And you don't want too much fiber in your hand because too much fiber doesn't give you the control you need. Okay, so you can spin it pretty fast just by doing it right and left. And when you get way out here, I just reach across with my other hand. I'm not that skilled, you know, it takes coordination too. It feels much and then right. you back it off, yep. Yeah. And then you wind it up onto the spindle, make sure. I like to give, you know, a little bit of a lead before I go back to doing this. And I never want to do it with that much on there. Um, I don't like it split like that, so I literally will finish that off, take all of this, make sure it's all put the same way, lay it down, give it a spin. Now the better you get, and apparent, occasionally I'll get these clumps in, I just stop and thin them out. I'm not real um, picky with it. Oops, and that's too much, so I just back it off and do... And you do, as you're learning, you'll do a lot of adjusting. And once you get going, not so much. So, and the better you get at it, the faster you can go. Your goal is actually to have this spinning about like that. You, you want it to really, when you're spinning, if you're good, you'll have it going that fast. Um, if you're not, it'll be slower. That's all there is okay, to it. So, in conclusion, honestly, spinning... There's no right or wrong way to spin. Just keep trying. Um, you can see that I've gotten a clump. I'm just keep going. I don't fuss too much with it. If you are getting something usable that you're happy with, or even if it's not usable but you're happy with it, who cares? All right? This video is not technical. It's not anything other than to get you spinning. Um, if you're making yarn or spinning wool, you're doing something right. So... No wrong way to do it. <laughs> Blooper number one. Bloopers. Oh, come on. This come wheel or any other wheel. If you are getting results. Well,
later. Carl Loopers. <laughs>